In this demo, we will show how an intense mixed virtual server workload can run millions of IOPS on a single Extreme IO X2 or Flash array. We will be using a quad X2 XBrick array. Each XBrick contains 36 SSD out of a maximum of 72 SSDs per brick. In X2, adding more SSDs to an existing DAE is an option by running a scale-up process. This array is currently empty, except for the demo VM templates. There are two types of virtual machines used in this demonstration. Both of them are using VDBench to simulate workloads. One is producing 9000 IOPS, representing an Oracle-like OLTP DB workload. The other one, producing 2000 IOPS, represents a generic server load. The VMware cluster used for this demonstration is a 9-node cluster to run our virtual machines. Extreme I.O. uses 100% in-memory metadata to accelerate VMware VAI operations. When we clone virtual machines, VAI leverages Xcopy to perform the cloning operations quickly. Extreme I.O. X2 includes many performance improvements which speed up Xcopy operations. Now let's see this in action. Using VSI EMC plugin, we can request many clones of our generic workload VM template. For the first demo, we are cloning 100 generic workload VMs. As the cloning process in progress, we can view performance in the Extreme IO Web UI dashboard. The VSI plugin optimizes the request by leveraging Xcopy in parallel. The result is incredible performance with effective bandwidth that reaches over 160 gigabytes. Now we see our clone requests have been completed and these clones are powered on. Returning to Extreme IO Web UI dashboard, we can see the performance is steady at around 200,000 IOPS. Keep in mind that Xcopy can coexist with user load. To demonstrate this, we request 55 clones with DBVM template. Turning to the Extreme IO dashboard, we see that the bandwidth intensive Xcopy operation coexists with the existing generic IO workload. There is no drop in IOPS as these two workloads progress. The moment our clone requests have been completed, the DB workload VM clones are powered on. Back to Extreme IO Web UI dashboard, we can see 700,000 IOPS of DB and generic workloads are fully balanced across the ESX hosts. You can also see the impressive DRR ratio. In X2, we are introducing a new advanced reporting engine. In the block section, we can see the block size histogram and the IOP segmentation per block size. Going to the latency section, we can see the various reports of our workload. Notice that all of the IOPs are done in sub millisecond latency. Now, let's see Extreme IO X2 perform under extremely heavy workload. We will only be using the generic workload VM template, which, as before, is generating 2000 IOPS. We will use the same 9 nodes VMware cluster and a new data store cluster consisting of 10 Extreme IO volumes over a clean, empty array. With this demo, we will run a PowerShell script using VMware PowerCLI commands to clone 800 VMs from the generic workload template. The cloning is executed in eight iterations. Each iteration will handle 100 VM cloning and powering on. VMware DRS and SDRS will equally divide the VMs between storage and compute resources. The iterations will simulate VSI environment growth over time. A 
As the VM is finished cloning and powering on, we see the IOPS rise. At this point, the fifth iteration is finished. We are reaching over 1 million IOPS. We can see that the IOPS and latency are equally balanced across all volumes and initiated groups, as well the X2 CPU utilization. As the final iteration is finished, we can see that all 800 VMs are powered on and fully balanced across our host. The performance is reaching about 1.6 million IOPS. As before, the latency remained low on 0.7 milliseconds. In conclusion, we have shown the fast performance of Xcopy under Xtreme IO X2, how Xcopy can coexist with existing virtual server workload, and how Xtreme IO X2 handles mixed workload environments, handling millions of IOPS at low latencies.